quite honest, I was surprised and also not surprised because I think asthma is under-recognized um, in this region. Bay Area doctors say they are surprised to see Lakeland as the most challenging city in the South when it comes to asthma, as asthma symptoms are at their peak. Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from Lakeland with what you need to know tonight. Stacy. Well, Josh, this is all related to an annual report that gathers data from all around the country. One analyst says it's meant to be a tool for the significant amount of people in this city who need one of these. The Lakeland Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology Office is busy. Dr. Katherine Converse has a three-month wait time for new patients. Every day, I am diagnosing new patients with asthma who are not being referred here for asthma. Dr. Converse says asthma cases have been underrepresented in Lakeland until now. On the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America's list of most challenging cities to live with asthma, Lakeland ranks fourth in the nation and first in the South. On the AFA study, Lakeland rated number 10 in terms of lowest access to asthma specialists, so specifically allergists, immunologists like myself and pulmonologists. The study uses three main criteria, prevalence of asthma, asthma-related deaths, and asthma-related emergency room visits. Data from Lakeland Regional Health shows between 4,000 and 6,500 asthma-related ER visits every year for the last five years. This is really meant to be more as a tool for um, empowerment and advocacy. Lakeland went from 72 on the list last year to number four in 2022. Lakeland did make a huge jump, um, and that's one of the reasons for that, we believe, is that we actually did change data sources this year. AFA research analyst Hannah Jaffe he says the foundation used insurance claim data this year instead of self-reporting surveys. Tampa ranked as the 33rd most challenging city to live with asthma. Ragweed and mold counts tend to peak in September, so right now asthma symptoms can be triggered. Dr. Converse says to keep track of any prolonged coughs that last a while after a cold or even coughs that wake you up at night, those can be symptoms of asthma, so you should call a specialist. Reporting live in Lakeland, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side.